review! Yay! So I finally picked up the Make It Forever Ultra HD Foundation. Um, I got a little sample of it from Sephora probably about two, three weeks ago. Sorry, someone. I got a sample of it from Sephora probably about two, three weeks ago. Um, and then I decided to go get rematched and just purchase the full size because I loved it so much. Side note, I got a lot of compliments too when I wear this foundation. So... It's also a plus. So I got the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation in the color 123, which equals Y365. I don't really know what that means, but that is the color that I got. Um, on the box it says, created for the very latest high definition technologies of film and TV, of the film and TV industry, Ultra HD advanced formulas look invisible on 4K camera and to the naked eye. Perfect for the makeup pros and for you. Oh, so cute. It also says it feels like second skin but still provides medium coverage and the light diffusing formula looks natural and makes skin look flawless and feel more moisturized. Uh, 4K Complex guarantees invisible, natural, and comfortable makeup. The fluid texture blends in seamlessly and conceals imperfections to unify the skin's texture. Great for all skin types and features full range of shades. Um, I do know that this has like 41 different shades I believe in it so um, I guarantee you they have one that will work for you. I know they have one for the fairest of the fair like porcelain dull like skin and then I know they have one for very very dark skin tones so it just they are amazing at having a really good variety so that everybody has a chance to find something that fits to them. So here's what the bottle looks like. Um, it does have a pump. Thank God this cap was like really hard to get off. I don't know why. I don't, I mean, it's good that it's plastic um, because I know like if I drop it, but at the same time, it's almost it, like it almost feels kind of cheap in my opinion, but it's just the packaging. All that really matters is if the foundation is great or not, right? Am I right? So I'm going to work today. So I'm going to just go ahead and do my normal face routine using it. Um, I know some people use it like, oh, without a primer or oh, without anything on top of it, but I feel like that it doesn't matter how it wears without a primer or without anything on top of it because if that's not how you normally do your makeup, then that doesn't really matter. So I have pretty oily to, well, I have oily to combination skin. Um, especially right now, it is still so freaking hot here. It's like 80, 85 degrees or something like that right now, and it's fall, so that's really irritating. But this is a demi-matte to a natural finish. I do know that for sure. Um, and I'm really excited to see how it wears, especially when I wear it to work, since I'm going to be up and moving around a lot. So I'm going to prime my face using my Benefit Pore Professional, like normal. So it says to use two pumps to cover your entire face, and it says for the best results, use a flat head um, a foundation brush or a sponge. So I will go ahead and do this half. one layer on it and this half has none so it did a pretty good job of smoothing them out here's the other side all these pores right here and then here's this side did a pretty good job it is a very natural finish like super like very 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 natural which I appreciate I don't do full coverage most times um, it dries fairly quick. I actually kind of want to put maybe like a half another layer on this side just to see how buildable it is. So I'm going to go ahead and do about half a pump. It looks really good. Let's go ahead and do the other half. Um... Yeah, I really like I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of my makeup on, and I will be right back. Alright, so the rest of my makeup is done, and drum roll please. I love it. Um, definitely worth the $43. I really like it. It really smooths out my face. Like, my face just looks so, like, just like, there's a sound effect. I'd put it right here. There might be. Who knows? 
My face just looks so smooth. Like, I really like it. Um, it clung a tiny bit to the dry patches on my chin. Just a tiny bit. Nothing that, like, me, well, I also have to exfoliate my face here soon. But anyways, nothing that me exfoliating wouldn't, um, fix. So that doesn't really bother me. Um, it really smoothed out my pores really well, which I look for in a foundation. If it, if the foundation sinks into my pores or really accentuates them, I will not use it. Like, I will just pretty much put it aside, give it to somebody who needs a foundation. Like, I, I ain't got time for that. This, I think, really does work well and then once I look at the footage on my camera I, oh excuse my lipstick um I want I'm excited to see how it wears um on film so since it claims to look flawless no matter what the film quality is especially on camera um I'm excited to see how it looks when I film it I will say you should set it with a powder right away because or else it will sink into it will sink into your fine lines, um, but I feel like most foundations do that. So um, I set mine with a powder. I would suggest setting yours with a powder as well. I just used my Maybelline Fit Me. Nothing super special, just to kind of set it. I really like it. It was definitely worth the splurge. So yeah, if you're looking for a foundation that smooths your face out, photographs well, is Demi Matte to... Um, not to a natural finish but I think this is definitely for you I'm gonna wear it to work and then um, I will update you guys down below how um, the long-lasting power is um, I do have to work in about an hour or so and I'll be there for a few hours so I will update you guys down below so yeah so far I recommend it um, check down below for my thoughts after tonight and that's about it. Um, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up if you love Makeup Forever. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.